There was a drone attack on Russia's Rostov region. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that Ukrainian drones attacked the Milarovo airfield. According to information, there were at least 16 explosions in the airfield area, and a fire broke out in the parking lot and the runway. It is also said that explosions were heard near the oil base. There are no reports of casualties or damage. Additionally, there are online reports of explosions near the village of Dolotinka and in the area of the oil depot. It should be noted that the Milarovo military airfield is located 5 kilometers northwest of the city of Milarovo, which is part of the village of Dolotinka. According to open sources, the 31st Fighter Aviation Regiment of the 1st Mixed Aviation Division of the Russian Aerospace Forces is based at this airfield. It is worth noting that this enemy airbase has been hit before. Previously, there were reports of attacks on the airfield using Tochkayu missiles and drones. Earlier, the authorities of the Rostov region reported a massive air attack using drones. The regional governor initially claimed that over 10 drones had been allegedly shot down, and by morning, he reported that air defense systems had destroyed and intercepted 26 UAVs overnight. The Russian official asserted that no one was injured and that emergency services were dispatched to the sites where UAV debris fell. <laughs> An explosion has injured at least seven people near the U.S. Embassy in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. A man in his 30s and a woman in her 20s suffered shrapnel wounds, while others sustained lighter injuries, according to the Times of Israel. According to Baza Telegram Channel, the UAV that came over the Red Sea exploded at the intersection of Ben Yehuda and Shalom Aleichem streets, 100 meters from the U.S. Embassy building. In another report, the Houthis claimed responsibility for the attack. So, they used the new Yaffa UAV, which is capable of covering a long distance and hitting the target without being noticed by the enemy during the attack. The blast was preceded by a loud whirring noise, according to eyewitnesses and footage circulating online. Police are studying the shrapnel and debris to determine whether the explosion was caused by a drone, local media reported. The Israel Defense Forces is also investigating the incident, which it suspects was caused by an aerial target, a military term it uses for drones, the Times of Israel wrote. No air sirens were heard ahead of the blast, the newspaper reported. Meanwhile, Yemen's Houthi rebels have claimed responsibility for the incident. The specific operation, the details of which will be announced, targeted Tel Aviv in occupied Palestine, Houthi spokesman General Yehia Sari wrote on X. The blast took place less than a few hundred meters from the former U.S. Embassy building in Tel Aviv on Shalom Aleichem Street, local media reported. The explosion happened in the air and the sound reportedly carried to nearby towns. The blast apparently occurred at some altitude, Haritz quoted the police as saying. We still do not know what it was. Right now, we are clearing the area. There was a lucky escape here. Police added that eyewitnesses saw a red lump in the sky, which could explain why the explosion didn't occur in a building or on the ground. Several photos circulating on X showed alleged fragments of a drone at the scene. One showed a piece of hull made of a substance that looked like fiberglass, with metal parts attached. Another showed a wing lying on the sidewalk, longer than the height of a person, next to a group of people. זה קטדם. לא, מצאו את הכנף שלו. 